Let's move on. Daishan Sweet Jr. Do you want to have a crack at that one? <laughs> Daishan, Daishan with a Q. Daishan with a Q. Uh, trained by Philip Stokes. Daniel Stackhouse is going to get the ride. Group 2 Adelaide Cup winner. Yep. What price? Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually going to have something top 5, top 10 this okay. horse. Um, so I was, I'll politely disagree. I went for... Um, uh, had to look outside the square to find something that I thought might be over the odds. Um, it's a bit like that, isn't it? It, it feels like such a long tail to this race, does, yeah. you know, to, from a betting point of view. Um, go back and watch his Melbourne Cup run last year behind Gold Trip. Um, when Gold Trip was in clear air, sprinting away, uh, working his way into the race from the 600, he got held up behind a couple of slow ones and never really got going. You look at his late sectionals... Um, mm. Third, third and fourth fastest last four and two, I think it was, in the race. Um, didn't really lose ground off Gold Trip that last furlong. Um, oh, high emotion ran straight past it, obviously. But um, it's very hard in staying events for horses to, to lose momentum coming to the corner and then be able to pick themselves up and sprint again at the end of, you know, at the end of 3,200 metres. So I thought with a, a little bit clearer, uninterrupted passage on Tuesday that it will definitely be you know, whacking away through the line where others, you know, will be gasping for air. Two, so. que two questions. Um, is this Melbourne Cup as strong as last year or stronger? And he, he started $59 last year. Is he going as well as last year? Is 110 on Betfair at the moment? Um, yeah, I think runs leading up to uh, perfectly fine for a grand final yep. performance. Um, is the race as strong this year? Um, I think we've touched on it a couple of times. Those at the pointy end of the market are very, you know, look great chances, and yep. then it's a very long tail. So um, I don't have the market here, but like top ten, top five is um, yeah. for a hundred to one chance we're going to be for a horse around sixth and might be better on top of the ground as well. Mm. I think that's the thing you've just mentioned there about being better on top of the ground. I think that's going to suit him. Um, he was one who I did have originally top ten, and I've, I've relegated him down. God, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> but it was only because. Um, uh, Again, it was that Herbert Power. I just decided to sack that whole yep. Herbert Power yeah, ball. Yeah. Um, but I think the thing is, I bet you at 303 or 304, whenever they crossed the line last year, Philip Stokes and, and the OCI crew would have been saying, OK, we're going to be aiming everything towards getting him back this year. They're getting him back. They've, they've, he's had the ideal preparation, really. It's been, it's been the perfect preparation to get him back there. And you look at what he's done at 3,200 metres. Um, and they probably said if we get him back onto a good track, he's going to run better. That's what I'm sure. They, I'm, I'm sure that sure they're thinking he's going to run top ten, maybe top five. I reckon they absolutely <laughs> are thinking that. Yeah. Whether he can, another matter. They, they all are. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.